Chief. Why, what do you think was wrong with it? Oh, I don't know, actually. That's what it says in my book here. <laughs> After looking at engine and tut-tutting, turns crisper and say it's not looking good, Chief. <laughs> That's as far as I've got, actually. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm in a bloody great mood. <laughs> no, I'm in a terrible mood, actually. No, I'm in a great mood. I'm so moody. <laughs> no, I'm in a great mood, because I've always had really bad handwriting, and yesterday I found out I'm left-handed. <laughs> My parents, those pranksters, eh? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about me folks, actually, you know. My dad's never told me he loved me, and I, I tried to rationalise this. I thought, maybe it's because nobody ever told him that they loved him, and maybe it's because he was brought up in a very male environment, and then I remembered he hates me guts. So. <laughs> Mind you, I've never told him I loved him either. Hey, but that's all in the past. Time to get on with my own life, time to my own two feet, yeah? OK. Right, who shall I ring? Oh. How you doing? What? Yeah, yeah, that's... What? Yeah, well, no, Dad, what? Really? I can't believe what you're saying. When did you learn German? <laughs> that's brilliant, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I've forgotten about the old handwriting, the, all those jobs. Yeah, I've seen the funny side of it. Listen, Dad, I was just thinking, and I know I've never said this to you before, but, um, mini metros are really economical. <laughs> <laughs> right, another customer. This time, I'm just going to be straight with them, tell them I'm having the foggiest about cars. I think it's the carburetor. It keeps cutting out. <laughs> Maybe the tuning's off. Have you uh, tried the AM dial? Do you know much about cars? Look, love, I was born in a car. I was conceived in a car, love. I was brought up in a car, love. Beatles, though, they're a bit tricky. If you could fill that out for me, please. Sure. Um, I don't understand some of these questions. Which ones? This one. Are you going steady with anyone at the moment? If not, do you fall in love? It's just standard procedure. Have you not been to a garage before? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you be looking under the bonnet or something? Look, lady, do I tell you your job? <laughs> Seems to have located your problem. <laughs> you haven't got an engine. <laughs> if you could switch on the headlights there for me, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that's my impression of a startled bunny. <laughs> right, let's have a look there. Mm-hmm, that seems to be in order. You're single, haven't been out with anyone for a while. Come on, give us a break, this please. for me Met a boy cute as can be Summer days, days drifting away to Oh, the summer night Oh, well, 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 well Tell me more, tell me more Did you get very far? <laughs> Tell me more, did she get 
put up a fight. I think you should know I'm not usually that macho. Actually, I'm much more sophisticated than that, but uh, I do love to sing and dance. Yes. Do you feel the same way I do? What? Butterflies in the stomach, palpitations of the heart, sweaty palms. And an overwhelming sense of lightness. Oh. Yes, yes, I do. That's amazing. You know what they call it? Yeah, food poisoning. <laughs> Did you have four beans as well this morning? <laughs> Only kidding. Where's your sense of humor? Wow, so what a similar sense of humor. You say tomato. <laughs> you say tomato. You say tomato. <laughs> you say tomato. You. Hey, I want to know everything about you. <laughs> well, my name's Lizzie Workman. I'm 28. I work for Bastille Dogs Home. My interests are varied. I like to spend my spare time down at the community center helping the down at heel. I'm, I'm vegetarian, <clears throat> post feminist, high on family values, teetotal, strict I'm Protestant. I like to recycle everything. I'm Sex is healthy. <laughs> I'm a great reader my, of poetry. I like to burn incense late at night, non smoking, naturally. A I'm member of the Labour Party, a driver of Volkswagen, I'm, as you can I'm see. Sure. I spent a year in Cambodia opposing American I'm, aggression. I'm very keen on expression through marching. Is, I like to use tension through song and dance. Personal hygiene I'm, is a bit of an obsession. I have a well kept flat, which I share with someone of similar interests a cat. I love opera. I think tall talk are underrated. Fresh orange juice is one of my indulgences. I've built on my water. I have a weakness for Turkish delight. I'm allergic to dust. I have a phobia about spiders. My mum and Yeah, maybe, maybe if we leave something for us to talk about another time. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry, getting carried away with myself. So, tell us about yourself. I know I'm going to regret saying this. Oh, pretty similar to yourself, really. <laughs> oh, good, because I'm not a great believer in that chalk and cheese theory. I'm out of control now. So, do you want to come round to my place for dinner? I'd love to, about eight. OK, then I live over there. So, until then... <laughs> Must learn more songs. Okay, what was it? She said sex is healthy. Yes, okay. She likes opera. Oh, it's just like a generation game, this. Woo! By the way, Elvis, 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 if you could keep a low profile, because so she's kind of phobic about you, okay? You're a small man opening down her clean butter for the wings. Yeah, we all miss Priscilla. Smalls, you've got back, thank you. Okay, you have your little walk now. Right. Bobby? Bobby, what's going on? I, uh, I just fancied a change. I mean, that other colour was really starting to depress me. Bloody exhausted and all. Bobby, this yeah. is my house. Yeah. What do you do? Like, since you came here, you've done structural damage to the basement. Oh. All the hinges are coming off. You put the spy hole in the wrong way. There's paint all over the floor. You've knocked down a wall as well. Yeah, well, it all puts value on the house, Mr. Shaw. Oh, that's not my name, OK? How many times do I have to tell you? And also, but you can, what? what's this? We, you keep on doing things I haven't even asked you to do. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. You noticed. You know, I really like to work on my own initiative. <laughs> right, that's it. After tonight, you can get your bits and pieces and you can get on your bike. <laughs> Bobby, did you nick my ready break? Oh! Oh, oh! oh, so I'm a thief now, am I? <laughs> right, that's it. I have been so tolerant with you! But I have to get my bits and pieces and I am on my bike! <laughs> did he resign or did I sack him? <laughs> right, food, what am I going to have to eat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's coming. Hang on. Right. <laughs> Dog food. Right, it's Wednesday. He likes a chicken <laughs> and some British lamb chops. Okay. <laughs> 
Mind you, if I'm gonna have to pretend I'm vegetarian later on, I should really eat this myself now. Yeah, he can have the coleslaw. Put your possession on. Please yourself, you can starve. I'm having some roast chicken. Oh, I don't even. No, I, I wasn't, um, I wasn't going to eat you. No, I was going to, uh... <laughs> Me lamb chops! <laughs> no, I, I wasn't going to eat you, I was going to heat you, cos you'd been in the fridge all day. <laughs> oh, I've just remembered. I've got some Chinese takeaway in a deep freeze. I don't want a horse running around. <laughs> what? What? It's my show. I get to say that, OK? You wait until you get your own show. You've got the chicken show. It's chicken show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ten to eight. Ten to eight. You said there'd be loads of things for me to do about the place. It's just that this is a well-constructed flat. Are you sure he's just a dog trainer? Yeah, he's trained the lamb and the chicken now as well. And why is he putting up bookshelves? The dog books. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look, I can't lie anymore. I'm sorry, Bobby's a builder, but after tonight he's going to get his bits and pieces and he's on his bike and then you can take over. You've let me down, Sean. Going behind my back like that. I can never forgive you. I thought we were friends. I thought we had something special. In some ways, I feel like a hurt lover. <laughs> we're not. We are. Don't be silly. We have. Never forgive me. I think I've answered that. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, let me down. Never forgive your friends. Hurt lover. Hurt lover. Did you answer that? Yeah, it was a don't be silly bit. <laughs> Tony, look, Bobby's just the occasional job around the house. We've got something special. And I'd like to develop the other side of our friendship. You know, we can discuss art and problems. You mean that? Of course. Let's do that then. OK. <laughs> Anything on your mind? No. Hey, Gilbert and George, they're a bit overrated, aren't they? Well, if you say so. <laughs> Look, I'll find some building work in the morning. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Pebbles, look, I want to treat Lizzie tonight, so is there anything you'd like to buy off me? Peanuts! <laughs> Hang on, how about this lovely new hairdryer? Yeah, you can have that. How much have you got? £30. That'll do. You can pay me the rest later, OK? Off, on your bike. Come on, come on, come on. I did not touch your ready breath. On your bike. Lizzie's here, OK. Mm, the king has got his pillow. Hip, 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 hooray. <laughs> well, hello. It was you who nicked me ready, Breck. <laughs> What's got in it? Hey, don't be eating that in the house. We don't want a cow running around. Be a bit more sensitive towards the animals. So, uh, have you been getting these strange phone calls late at night? Yeah, will you stop doing that? That's not me. Barry, your pathetic Welsh accent doesn't kid anyone. Well, you boy, you. You've six times you rang last night. <laughs> Practically scratched all my jazz records. Now, come on, get out of here. I've got things to do. I'm busy. You're on your own. <laughs> You've got to wait. <laughs> Grow up. What? What? Barry, and if you must know, I do have a girlfriend. Oh, yeah, and pigs will fly. A bit more sensitive for the animals. <laughs> yeah, every time we see each other, we just burst into song. You know, I think it could last a lifetime, if I learn enough songs, that is. Yeah. Well, I'm happy for you. Do you mean that? Mm. Well, you are getting closer, aren't we? No, we're not. I'll give it 15 minutes. <laughs> right, let's get ready for the day. Elvis! 
El Elvis. Elvis, now you stay out of sight tonight. She's phobic. Bobby, no coming up, do you hear? Right. I must try to get this scrambled egg off the bloody saucepan. <laughs> Still won't come off. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> you can starve yourself. We're vegetarian. She's here, okay. <laughs> hello, Dolly. Well, hello, Dolly. It's, it's so, so nice, nice to have you back where, where we belong. <laughs> oh, some music. Opera relaxes me so. <laughs> so are you going on the uh, anti-traffic light march? Oh, I didn't know about it. Oh, yes. Some of us feel that the red light is a slur on Canadians. We're trying to get a change to pink. <laughs> Filtered water? Yes, please. OK. Sean? Mm -hmm. Why is there a chicken and a lamb in the room? Oh, they're, uh, they're me pets. <laughs> yeah, all uh, fruit butt over there. Yeah, it was terrible what they were doing to him. They were making them go to rock concerts on a nightly basis and force them to stage dive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Testing for endurance. Made them wear the Dr. Martens and everything. Oh, there's sick people around. Oh, there is. So where did you find him? I was at a Morrissey concert I rescued him from. <laughs> Quite a struggle as well. What, the bouncers gave you hassle? No, no, Morrissey wouldn't let go of the lamb. Kept on hugging it like that. <laughs> oh, eventually it broke free. Must have been very traumatic for him. Oh, it was. But apparently he's in the studio making a new album to get his mind out. <laughs> Uh, that's for old Jim Bob there. He's looking for being alive. You know what they were doing? Forced him to eat every flavour of pot noodle. Sure. Can you see the trauma in its eyes? Mm -hmm. You're so caring. <laughs> you ripped me off! Oh, uh, this is an old lady I help out in the community. Uh, she's on day release. She thinks she's one of the Jackson Five. <laughs> come, come, Mrs. P. There you go. No, give us back. I give her money on a regular basis. She kind of relies on me now. There you go, Mrs. Pebbles. Shoot, shoot, I'm bad. <laughs> You've a lovely flat. Thank you. <laughs> Is your pretty woman how about What? Hmm? Uh, fairly basic, you know, uh, bathroom, bedroom. <gasps> oh. Yes, I scored! <laughs> yeah, I live quite near the football ground. Oh, <laughs> Kitchen and the spare room. What's in there? Oh, I rent it out to a middle-aged couple, Bosnian refugees. Oh, what did he do? Just watch telly, really. <laughs> well, let's have a look. Okay. Coronation Street is just so much like real life. What do avocados taste like? <laughs> they don't look like Bosnians. Oh. Well, you know what it's like with the immigration laws over here. To get them into the country, we had to disguise them as hardline Tories. Oh, you're so thoughtful, Sean. I am, aren't I? I don't even got any paracetamol. You must have some wonderful friends. I'd love to meet them. Meet my friends? Meet my friends? So I have to do a quick monologue. Hang on a second, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> meet my friends? Those two worlds can never meet up. Your friends, you're one person, and with love is something else. Like, if those two meet up, it'll be horrible, because they'll try and ruin it. Say, like, you should, no, you should never meet up. No, she can't make it tonight. No, the guys don't want to see you. Because, like, all your friends, they try to spoil things, and they come up with all those cliches. They go, well, actually, Sean, I preferred your last girlfriend. <laughs> well, this is my first girlfriend, actually. What are you talking about? Who's <laughs> that like you in the shops with? That was me mother. <laughs> then they say things like, I uh, suppose you won't have any time for us now. I don't remember ever having any time for you. We just <laughs> talk bullshit on occasion, don't we? Then they say, too many chefs. Pardon? 
<laughs> so, Sean, we run our cliches. See, I can't. Because when you're with the guys, you pretend you're one of the guys. You're all that kind of, you know, you're going to go, sex, guys, sex, sex. And then, oh, I'm in a cancer, yeah, you're in a Sex, I'm in a minute, minute. Sex, yeah, I love you. Sex, 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 sex. <laughs> oh, she doesn't realise the battle in my head. Look at her there, looking so innocent. Oh, I hate having to impress his friends. I suppose I'll need to, so I'll have something to talk about on one of our girly nights out. Rachel reckons he's the bright red face if I told him I'm wearing no underwear type. Well, I'll test him later. That always gives the girls a good giggle. No point in putting off your nose, will they? Sean! Mm -hmm. There's something I want to tell you. Yes? I don't like to look at that bunch over by the window. They're very quiet. Yeah. They're mannequins. It's my new sales drive. People walk by and think it's a happening place. <laughs> Is it working? No, people keep picking fights with them. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. I know one of them was trying to stare me out. <laughs> He's doing it again. Oh, here's Sean with his new girlfriend. Hi, Sean, why the bright red face? Yeah, it's hot, isn't it? <laughs> now, look, before I introduce you, like, I don't expect you to become lifelong friends or anything, but if we could be adult about this, OK? Lindsay, Tony, Barry. Hello. Hello. God, she's not normally this loud. What's going wrong with her? I'm sorry about this guy. She's not normally like this. Pleased to meet you, Lizzie. Would you like a drink? Oh, my God, he's so sexist and patronising. She's her own woman, for God's sake. I'm sorry about that, Lizzie. I had no idea he was going to be like this. I'll have an orange juice, please, Tony. Oh, my God, she's so forward. She hardly knows the guy. <laughs> she's not normally like this. You've got lovely hair. Oh, my God. Why don't you get back to the dark ages there, Barry? To you women are just bodies. She's got a mind as well. Thanks for ruining the night. Come on, we're off. <laughs> you see, I know we hardly know each other, but I think we've been through a bit. Um, what I'm trying to say is... You make me dizzy, Miss Lizzie. Yeah? Well, what I'm trying to say is... <laughs> Would you do me the honour? Make me a happy man. Sign on the dotted line. Get me to the church on time. Become hitched. Be as one. What are you trying to say? Uh, what I'm trying to say is, I, I think my knee's gone numb. <laughs> no, it's OK now. It's the other one. What I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, Lizzie, is, will you marry me? <laughs> I always thought it was bullshit that you hear such noises on these occasions. <laughs> I just had that fixed. Look, the scene of an explosion. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Names? Lizzie Workman. Uh, Sean Hughes. The old brother. <laughs> One dead. Bobby's dead? Inform his family. Bobby Workman. Lizzie? Your dad's dead. Oh! Bobby's your dad! Uh -huh. That explosion wasn't an accident. It was murder. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> murdered your dad. Lizzie! Lizzie, I don't know what to say. Oh, by the way, you know the marriage proposal? Was that a yes or a no? <laughs> oh, no hurry, look. They put a caption up to be continued. No, hurry, you can tell me next week. <laughs> ah, but in fact, we'll have to wait a little longer than that, because next week we begin a new series of engagements in which girl meets boy. In this case, it's Janet Street Porter meeting some of the men in public life whom she most admires. That's next Saturday at 10.45.